So, good evening everyone. Tonight, I'm going to be doing the fecal occult blood test. So first, equip yourself with proper PPE and then prepare the materials needed. So I have here the hydrogen, per hydrogen peroxide or the developer, the dropper, applicator stick and hema screen, and of course the specimen with the label on the specimen container. And the next, I'm going to be disinfecting the working area. Okay, so now um, we are going to proceed to the actual laboratory exercise. So first, obtain the hemis cream and open it. Okay, here I have already opened it. As you can see, there is oval 1 and oval 2. So get your specimen container and put some sample on oval one Okay. And then put also um, a, um, a sample from from the uh, from a different side of the feces and put it on oval two. Okay. Okay, so now let's close the hema screen and open the other side of the what do you call this? Open the other side of the hema screen and put um, two drops of the developer uh, over oval one and oval two and wait for 30 to 60 seconds and then I'm also going to put one drop of developer on the positive and negative control on the negative control no color change must be observed while on the positive control a blue color must be seen okay I'm just going to get some developer. There we go. So I'm going to put two drops of the developer over each smear. And then one drop on control. So I'm just waiting for the results. Okay, so as you can see, as you can see, 
um, there is no color change observed and here on my end I can see that the positive side um, has become blue a little bluish I don't know if it is visible on your screen but on my end I can see a tinge of blue color okay so let's proceed to the post laboratory exercises so first let's discard the used material make sure to um, put the um, infect infectious materials on a separate bin when you are in a medical uh, or you are in a labor laboratory you must put it in a yellow bin okay okay and then after that and don't forget to clean and disinfect the working area Okay, so that's it for now. See you on our next experiment.